Please don't kill your roommate because I need her to be a. Don't don't do that. Wait, did you just bite your roommate? What's up, boo? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you have a great day and you're my channel. Welcome to the dark side because I have a new Sims 4 mod video for you. As you can see, we're checking out some more mods with the Sims 4 Werewolves game pack. I told you in my last video part one of the werewolves pack that if you gave some love to that video i will have a part two for you and that's because i knew there would be more mods for this pack and there are so this is actually the last mod video for the werewolves because we're about to get a new game pack and i want to make sure i get all the mods for that so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right in and because i am in cast hi i got no one to my sim i'm in a clean save file just to make sure these mods are working and the first one I want to show you, which you could probably see, is the fact that my werewolves aren't howling all the bloody time, okay? So it's just stop howling and cast. The mod recently came out, actually, and I, too, was annoyed by all the werewolves just howling all the time. Like, I, I don't know why they did. Like, okay, we get it. You're a werewolf. There's other things to tell you. <laughs> tell me that you're a werewolf, hence the fur and the moon and all the steamy stuff behind there. But, like, you don't gotta howl every two seconds so there is a mod now to stop all that howling go check it out also all the mods that I showcase on this channel are linked in the description box and the mods in this video are all free so you can go get them when you want to but yeah i thought that would be the perfect mod to start off with because i think a lot of people were really annoyed by that but let's move on to the second mod because we're still in cast and as you can see my werewolf is on like their uh, i don't want to say tippy toes but like their, their feet are up so this mod actually gives you a default foot for the werewolves and i want to show you right now so here's my sim regularly you know she's got her yeah it's just, it's just a placeholder sim please don't talk about her uh her outfit sources okay and here's another sim feet are fine but it is the feet boom actually let me take off these sim shoes real quick so that we can easily see boom flat feet take off the socks because my sim don't wear socks and boom why did you do that anyway but yeah the feet are actually a little bit higher a little bit more animalistic and also i thought it would be a good mod because i too did not like the like the lower half of the character models for the werewolves just because it's I don't know i like i want a little bit more hind leg action a little bit more not looking like an actual human sim and you know this mod kind of does that it is a default replacement so be mindful of that like all your werewolves will have this so if you really want this mod just you know keep that in mind but yeah i thought that'd be a great mod but let's move on to the next mod all right so the next mod is actually another mod that kind of gives you a little bit more animalistic to your werewolves it is the this is a long title so let me read it off extended muzzle and mouth corner depth slider so what this mod actually does it gives your i'm gonna give your sims your werewolf sims a longer muzzle so as you see i'm going in i'm going out i'm going in i'm going out and there are two versions of this mod so you can either choose like a very longer one i got the first version which is like this is how extended it will be and then of course you can just go in and out it is a slider so be careful of that too uh also let's see how it looks when you're like looking this way okay it doesn't look too bad now i am in the cheeks as well but <laughs> the sweet spot is like right here on the cheeks so if you can get you know get that cheek highlight as you can you know it's it's, it's, it's highlighting there and you just go like left and right you should be good especially if you know your sliders so i thought this would be a good mod as well to make your wolves a little bit more wolfy because a lot of people in the comments have said they wanted their werewolves to look a bit more realistic a little bit more wolfy especially like compared to other games and i thought yes this is the perfect mod so i will share it with you but let's move on to the next mod all right so the next mod is gonna be a little bit harder for me to show you but i wanted to include it because a lot of us really love the werewolf occult experience and it really gets on our nerves when in the game the sim make it obvious that you're in a cult like why wh why is a regular sim asking you about werewolves why is a regular sim just having the ability to ask you about uh vampires why are you howling every five minutes like wh what is that so this is the be less obvious mod which kind of tunes it so you're not obvious as being a werewolf and it's like look at me i'm a wolfy uh idol blocked when in human form all the powers are too obvious to be showed around blocked in human form howling wolves can only howl in beast form 
Also, occults are interesting and enjoyable when they stay hidden, and among all werewolves are the ones that are most likely to stay hidden and not go around discussing being a werewolf or sniffing people. No, no, we're not doing that. So yeah, this mod just makes it less obvious that you're a werewolf, and it makes it a little bit more harder, and hopefully, like, being a werewolf is less obvious. But yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next mod. All right, so the next one I want to show you, and my werewolf is enraged now because I needed to like do some editing to her. I actually need her to go into her wolf form because apparently you don't really get to do anything unless you've had your first transformation, which kind of makes sense. Is a werewolf tweaks mod that has one, two, three, four different tweaks in one, which you can actually just like pick and choose as you download the whole folder. And one of them being your human sims are able to go ahead and give themselves some wolf's bane protection, which you can add wolf's bane to like anything that you eat. And we're gonna whip up some food real quick and add some wolf's bane, which probably, if this was an actual scenario, would not help her like at all because like the wolf is here. She may die. All right. Dang. Oh, not her not liking her roommate no more. But now you can see, you can add Wolfsbane. Cleo's missing some required items. Wolfsbane is supposed to protect them against werewolves, if I'm reading this correctly, which right now is kind of like a moot point. But anyway, that's one of the tweaks you can do. Now, another tweak is the werewolf walk styles, which enables the wolf walk and runs walk styles that are normally only available while rampaging in the werewolf form. Of course, she's in her werewolf form now, but let me add, oh, I can't even add anything. Oh wait, I can, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't even do anything with my sim right now because she's just rampaging. So I'm gonna let her go rampage. Please don't kill your roommate because I need her to be a, don't, don't do that. Wait, did you just bite your roommate? I know you did not just do that. It, you didn't just do that. Her arm's not throbbing, is it? I'm not saving this. You, you, I'm literally trying to make a video and y'all over here just, please don't. All right, she's back to her human form. I actually added in all of the werewolf abilities and it gives your werewolves the ability to give vampires a venomous bite. So now I gotta go find me a vampire. Oh, Lilith, perfect. I can give Lilith a venomous bite. Hopefully killing her. Cursed by Lilith's curly a vampire, okay. All right, so I actually had a transform. You have to be in your werewolf form. You can only do this when you have the Cursed Bite reward or if you're in a full moon. You can do Venomous Bite. Now, if successful, this will slowly poison the vampire and kill them if untreated. How you treat a vampire after getting a Venomous Bite, to be honest, I feel like that's on them and that's what they need to do. I'm just here to like, you know, cause more strife between vampires. Cool. Lilith was bit by a vicious werewolf. Let us say a werewolf bite is deadly for vampires, but these are just rumors, right? Maybe it's still a good idea to search for more information or cure just to be safe. And again, that's great for Lilith, but for me and my people, we are gonna do us. So I hate that for her. Oh, and we despise each other. Oh, look, and there's a bite mark. Love that. So good luck, Lilith, and I'll talk to you later. And I'm actually gonna go home. Bye, see you later. All right, we're home. Actually, my sim autonomously biting their roommate is also part of this tweaks mod because it's actually listed there that your sims can, while on rampage, the sims will autonomously bite other sims for the curse bite to turn other sims to werewolves autonomously. And yeah, that's it for this part of the mod. So make sure you go and download it, check it out. But I like the fact that we can like poison vampires now because you know, just fight them is not enough. Poison them and killing them is always a good thing. But let's move on to the next mod. All right, the next mod is another mod that will kill vampires dealing with <laughs> werewolves. And I actually gotta go to a vampire family. But since Vlad is not home and I don't feel like fighting him, I'm gonna go to Caleb. That's very loud. Not your sister over here just dying. You should really get that checked out. I hate that for you. Anyway, so we're gonna go kill Caleb real quick. And <laughs> I'm literally wiping out the entire Valtora line real quick. So this mod is the Werewolf Blood Kills Vampires mod. And drinking from werewolves gives vampires an angry buff without this mod. And now it will, um, you know, kill them. So you do need two mods for this to work. So I believe, yeah, this Selene is definitely a, were of, of a werewolf. So let's drink plasma and let's compel for a deep drink and pray it kills him. And if it doesn't, I'm going to, I know it's gonna be very embarrassing. <laughs> so you better kill her when you do this. Not you just not looking on. Sis about to get drained and he's about to die. All 
right, cool. So after he got a drink, it's not supposed to be instant. It's actually, it kills them and not instantly. It can go from 12 hours to 60 minutes. Depends on your luck. The only way to stop it is, is to stop it is curing vampirism. My potion will work too. MCC, no. Also change the buff to uncomfortable because why angry? While I'm waiting for it to get nighttime to go kill a vampire, Lilith is dying, y'all. Is dying from a venomous werewolf bite. So this mod does work. <laughs> Grandma's like, what? Damn, I hate that for now. They oh, I already saved, so she's gonna die anyway. Dang. All right, we're gonna take that away. No need to be sad, but we're still waiting for it to get nighttime so we can go and yeah. But all right, now this is the moment that Caleb. This is the moment that Caleb dies now. So drink plasma, compel for a deep drink. Do not get on the computer. We're not here for that. And just come over here and just get a vampire, bruh. Not to get a vampire. Drink a werewolf, bruh. And follow your sister to the vampire afterlife. There really is a vampire afterlife. Now, what is this guilty drinker? Disgusting dog water, question mark in five hours. Absolutely disgusting, like drinking from dog bowl. Who thought this was a good idea? Usually that's the buff you get, but it says question mark in five hours. So maybe Caleb is the unlucky and he may die. Okay, I noticed that after I bit Rory and I went home, the whole rampaging, all this actually went away. So I came back and we have 14 minutes left and we're gonna see if he actually dies. I, I'm I'm really I'm really trying my best to kill this sim. I've rebooted my game like three times to make sure I have the mod correctly installed, and this is the closest I've gotten. So we're uh, I'm we're, we're hoping we're praying as it goes down to like one minute. Please kill Caleb, please, just just do it for me, game. It, it, no, you're no, you're wait. Oh my God! Finally. Okay, I mean, okay. It said overexposure to the sun and it's 9 p.m. So I'm guessing that was the mod and he just died from it. I wish it was, I wish it had its own death and says something different, but you know what? Hey, you, you get what you can get at this point. But well, I really did wish it said from drinking from a werewolf, but Caleb died. Finally. Yeah, let's move on to the next mod. All right, so the next mod is like a finer tuning mod for the somber howl interaction that brings it down from 24 hours that you can do it to like six or 12 hours. You just like two versions you can choose from. You can only have one installed. So just a quick little annoyance fix mod to the somber howl werewolf interaction to have a quicker cooldown period. It was 24 hours originally, which I find way too long, especially if your werewolf gets furious extremely fast. This mod changes that to either six to 12 hours, depending on how much challenge you will still want in your game. Six hours is good for werewolves that build fury super fast. 12 hours is a little more challenging while still removing some irritation. There's also a disclaimer. I have not officially play tested the 12 hour version of this mod. It should didn't break your game or anything so i cloned it from the six hour version but if the cooldown effect isn't working as intended please let me know all right i'm back in cast and just a quick little mod but this next mod just makes the irises a bit bigger to your werewolves so they look a little bit more wolfy they are default replacements again just like the feet but just for the eyes so when she put them in your werewolf eyes will be a little bit more detailed a little bit more wolfish if that's what you want to call it. Again, this mod is free to download, and I thought it'd be a great cosmetic because you know anything to make the wolves look like more like wolves. I thought it'd be a great thing. So yeah, go ahead and check it out. But let's move on to the next mod. All right, the last mod, and I saved this one for last because it's kind of a big mod. It's the Mooncasters mod, which gives werewolves and spellcasters the ability to like coexist in one sim. So it's 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 a pretty big one. So following the instructions, the first thing you're gonna need is to have the Lunar Epiphany Dormant ability, which again, I actually cheated all of my werewolf abilities. So that way uh, she has everything currently, including the Lunar Epiphany, which you get by reading the books. So if you didn't watch my live streams and you don't know, I do stream on Twitch. So you can go follow there and, you know, chill and hang out with me. Then you just read all the books, you will eventually get the Lunar Epiphany. And now I have to go and ask residents about Mooncasters. You can go and ask the Spellcasters too, but you'll have no luck. Only three Sims of Moonwood have recovered this ancient magic and only asking them will get results. Your references for magic as a werewolf are Christopher, 
uh, teaches practical magic, Wari, who teaches mischief, and Lily teaches potion recipes. And Lily also sells tomes and other magic equipment to Mooncasters. All right, so I'm gonna choose Lily because then that way everything will get uh, unlocked to me. And I'm also gonna cheat my uh, my relationship with Lily because why not, okay? Uh, oh, and Christopher is here too. Maybe I should do some both. I don't know, but let's see. Let's do a friendly introduction. You know, just a neighborhood friendly wolf. I'm not here to cause any trouble. Why are you taking pictures of me? This is why we get caught. That right there. This is this is truly why. Okay, so here we go. Ask about mooncasters. Let's see if she will tell me all about being a mooncaster. Hopefully, it's quick, but. Not you giving that. All right. I see you've been reading a lot. All right. Let's address this. What do you want to know? I want to know how to become one. Uh, how can I become a mooncaster? You can't. It, it's as simple as this. Oh. Are there any mooncasters left? No. What? What are you talking about? Hello? Child. Anyway, this is where cheating comes in handy. So I'm going to cheat my relationship with Lily to a hundred. We're going to be the bestest of friends. Love you too, Lily. Okay. How to become a mooncaster. All right. Let me tell you a secret. Me, Rory and Christopher are mooncasters. There's another one too. Anyway, I can give you the gift of magic if you really want. Actually, the other person is Greg who teaches Untamed, but it only pops up if you unlocked his communication. If you don't lock his communication, then you're not going to get it. But that's about it. I can give you the gift of magic if you really want it. Yes, 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 yes. Please give me the gift of magic. Please give it to me. And now if you have Realm of Magic, all this will come together and then you'll be able to do magic as a werewolf in your regular form. And now they're all blending. Now it's possible to be a werewolf and a spellcaster at the same time. But yeah, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Again, this is the last part for the werewolves game pack mods that make it better. Of course, if there's like another really good mod that comes around my way, I won't make a specific video just for werewolves. It'll be like in my other mod haul videos. So make sure you can subscribe and you turn on notifications and you go follow me on all my other socials and let me know in the comments below what you think of all these mods. Go watch part one if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, boo.